Okay, we've got a party going on here now on <laughs> midday. Susan is going to be so upset that she's sick today, but I am delighted to be here. And we are talking about something really cool, actually. Uh, we're going to start with Jennifer Harbrook, and then actually, Anne, I'll get you to kind of introduce everybody. Uh, Jennifer, though, I know through the Canadian <laughs> Cancer Society, so we're going to start here. Uh, this Her, is a really cool little uh, teaming up project that you've it got going is, on. It's, it's something that we haven't been a part of before, uh -huh. and when Anne approached me, I was really thrilled because it it focuses on the prevention aspect of, of our message at the Canadian Cancer Society. Society, so I thought it would be a great way to kind of promote that message, get students involved in a community project, mm -hmm. and have a good time, have a great dinner, and, and invite the community. And so this event has been born. So Anne, do you want to introduce uh, the students yes. that you brought with you today? Yes, thank you. So um, I have four students from our class this year, and um, this is Holly, and Tim, and Elise, and then Dakota. So we, two years ago, we had this event. Basically, I created this um, exercise as a part of the class project. Mm -hmm. And we called it then, um, Come Dine with Microbes. And it was really a great success. So we would like to, yeah, this year we're partnering with um, Jennifer and her office. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. So uh, we'll get maybe some of the students to pipe in here yes. a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. How do you guys approach a menu like this? I love the idea of dinner with microbes. I mean, that yeah. just makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's it called this year to start with? This year it's called TRU Ferments. Oh, a nice. A fine cultured dining experience. Awesome. So when you guys are putting the menu together, anybody can pipe in here. Uh, how did you sort of pick your menu? Well, we kind of, we just started, we just, we're, we started by looking at just like what, what, what was a fermented foods. And when we started looking at that, we began to realize that there are actually so many of the foods that we eat from day to day are fermented products. And then from there, we tried to decide what would be, we looked at last year's menu, and then we decided what, what would be fun, what would be nice and tasty, and what could appeal to everyone mm -hmm. who's coming to the dinner. So when people think of fermented things, they probably think of like sauerkraut. <laughs> That's yeah. one of the first things that came to mind. But there are obviously a lot of foods that are fermented. Do you want to dive in with some of those foods? Yeah, so uh, one of our main dishes is going to be pizza. So we don't think about pizza being a fermented food. Not at all. The bread and the cheese and even some of the toppings, olives, would be fermented products. So okay. Even something basic you might have once a week at home, it's all fermented. Nice, and we usually think of alcohol as being fermented, right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and we will have forms of that. Um, we're having a kombucha punch and oh, ginger fun. beer and lassi, mm -hmm. so some different components of, uh, of that fermentation, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And what a cool way to, uh, to have uh, as a component of a studies, mm -hmm. right? Like, that's just so interesting. Yes, I, I really like, you know, um, two years ago when, when I started to think about this, basically the inspiring moment was the fact that I saw a menu that has all the um, fermented food and it has all the names of bacteria and fungi and all that, right? <laughs> and I just like, oh, how could I incorporate <laughs> this into the class? Uh -huh. And then I talked to our um, big helper as well, actually, um, Chef Scott Roberts at the um, NORCAM culinary program. Mm -hmm. And I said, shall we do something together? And then it's, yeah, it was Just born the from idea there. Group. Kind of the idea group. The idea of fermented. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right? Right. Awesome. <laughs> yes. okay, yes. I can help myself. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and we have, you know, incorporate the fact of the community uh, public engagement and then student engagement as well, mm -hmm. as, as well as the, um, high school student of NORCAM culinary mm -hmm. program. That's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. So tickets are available. Can you purchase tickets? Is the tickets will be available hopefully by week's end. We're just okay. um, confirming a few more sponsors. You can get them by contacting us at uh, the Canadian Cancer Society office. They're $25. It's a, a low price for a fantastic evening of entertainment and knowledge and getting to learn what these students have been working on for the year. That's fantastic. And being able to take what you're learning and actually use it. I always and find that it. so it and eat it <laughs> even better yeah, and even eat better it. Yeah. All right, uh, so more information at Canadian Cancer Society. Absolutely, and okay. we'll have students uh, selling tickets as well. So. All right, well, yeah. thanks all you guys for coming in. Sounds like a great event. 